My name is Bill Miller, and I'll be your Chemistry 400 General Chemistry 1 instructor this semester. I'm very much looking forward to the semester and hope you are too. We have a lot to learn, and I uh, just want to start by saying that uh, this class is going to have your lecture and uh, discussion taught by me, and those two parts will be online and asynchronous, and your lab instructor will either be uh, Dr. Ferguson or Dr. Eifler, and uh, that's because there are two different sections of Chem 400 that I'm teaching uh, Monday, Wednesday morning. So that would be Monday or Wednesday with Dr. Ferguson uh, or Tuesday or Thursday with Dr. Eifler. So you have lab one day a week. It goes from 7.30 a.m. to 11.50 a.m. <laughs> Almost said p.m. there. That would be a long lab. Uh, so um, and lab is in person. During lab time, you will also get exams. So exams will be in person. And otherwise, the lecture and uh, discussion will be online. Let me take you through a little bit more about the uh, Canvas portion of the class that you will do online. So uh, here I am in one of the lecture sections. Uh, the other one will be identical, and um, except for I'll have the different lab instructor. Um, and it will be like this. So uh, like I said, uh, we're going to have lecture and discussion online asynchronous. That's me. You'll have either uh, Dr. Ferguson or Dr. Eifler for lab Monday or Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday, one of those days. This is a big class. So uh, you will meet uh, online for lecture and uh, discussion. So lecture will be three hours a week. Discussion will be uh, the equivalent of two hours a week. That's five hours plus um, four hours per week of uh, in-person lab, that's nine hours. Plus, you can expect to spend approximately 13 hours outside of class doing homework, lab write-ups, uh, the rest of the discussion work, uh, studying for exams, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a big class. We hope you learn a lot. And uh, our goal is to prepare you uh, for whatever it is you're going to do. You're going to transfer, you're going to go to uh, medical school, pharmacy school, um, whatever, nursing school, um, whatever you want to be, uh, we are going to prepare you, we hope, pretty well. And it takes some time to do that. Uh, my name is Bill Miller, and uh, all of my office hours will be online this semester. Here's my email. That's a great way to get in contact with me. You can also use the Canvas inbox. And what I would just say is, um, if you send me an email and I do not get back to you within 24 hours, Monday through Friday, please send me another one. Uh, I apologize. I do miss some emails, uh, a few at least. And, um, and I, I want you to get your questions uh, answered. That's important to me. So uh, it's very important to me. And I realize that I will be online for office hours during these times that you can email me at other times and I will sometimes post. Um, so I will sometimes type out an answer. I will sometimes uh, send you a video. I will sometimes send you a PDF with some written work on it to answer any question you have. <clears throat> the textbook is a Libre text, which means it's online and available for free. You can follow that link here. And then there are a bunch of information in the modules section. Uh, the bolded ones are important. All of them are important too, but uh, uh, please check them out as you prepare for the class. Now let's head over to the modules section, and I will attempt to do this in student view so you can see what you will see, and I can make sure that you see everything I want you to see as well. All right, so uh, week zero, you can start reading these now as some of those modules we were just looking at including how to create a PDF and submit it for a homework question. I will ask that you submit all of your homeworks and uh, discussion work as PDFs because then I have a way of writing on it if there's some points taken off so you can see why the points were taken off. A few words about how not to cheat in Chem 400. Do your own work. If I see you copying somebody else's work, you will get a zero for the assignment. At the same time, I want you to work with your classmates. 
uh, I, if, if you, uh, you can check any source online as well for questions. Whatever you find, no matter what it is, put it in your own words. Put it in your own style. Do the math again. If I see exact copies of anything, that's when you can get a zero. So put it in your own words. And that should hopefully, uh, and, and yes, so I do give zeros for whole assignments. Um, and so hopefully that won't be an issue. <coughs> All right, so there's a bunch of information there. Syllabus, lecture lab, uh, schedule, which is approximate. And uh, the periodic table conversions and equations for exams. Like I mentioned, exams are in person. And that means that, uh, and you, as part of the exam, you will get a periodic table and one or more pages of conversions and equations. I suggest that you print this material out and use it to do all of the material for the lecture outlines, uh, which are the lectures, the, the discussions, the homeworks, whatever you have, keep these next to you. And you'll see in the uh, lecture outlines in the videos that I've always got them right over here so I can pull them in, show them to you, whatever you need. Uh, the nomenclature sheet and flashcards for some of the ions to help you learn them. Now let's go ahead and go into um, week one, which starts on um, October, uh, sorry, October, August 22nd. You'll have a week one introduction that will give you a little bit of information about how the class works. There are no points associated with it, but I have put that on the to-do list so you can check that. Then the next day, you'll have a lecture outline due. What you do for a lecture outline, let's go ahead and click onto that. Lecture outlines are incomplete sets of notes and outline of my lecture, just as if we were in person. And I will write notes on them. And then you take the notes and submit a PDF, one PDF of your lecture notes by the due date. And the due date is, uh, for this is gonna be Wednesday, um, which I think is the 24th of, and it should always be Wednesdays. I think almost always Wednesdays. You can see the handout, which you can download and print out here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see all the uh, lecture videos, um, which it looks like some of them are missing. So I will fix those. Uh, or I will double check that they're there. Interesting, glad we did this. All right, so, um, but they will be there as soon as I get finished making this video. Then um, you'll have a discussion assignment. It's in week one, it's going to be to introduce yourself and then you will get points for introducing yourself. Your introduction um, will be a paragraph uh, that answers these questions right here. And it'll, uh, it looks like we've got some coming already which is good. Then uh, homework. So the homework is not due until August 29th. However, it is based on the lecture outline. And as soon as you finish the lecture outline, you should start doing the homework. If you leave it until the 29th, this is a lot of homework to do on the 29th. Uh, and I would imagine that you will not get done. Homework one is particularly a lot of problems because each of the problems, or many of them, are pretty small problems. Um, just to let you know, I do very seriously take into account your time. And um, so all of these are set up to teach you something or to allow you to practice something that it, we think is necessary for the class. Now, um, the homework 01-01, Draw Phases of Matter, that's an FIL or a file upload problem. What that means is that you're going to draw the phases of matter on a piece of paper, then you're gonna scan it using your phone probably as a scanner, and then submit it as a PDF. Only PDFs again, please. Um, the can, I'm not sure what that means actually. Um, but for the next one, uh, or let's do this one, temperature, uh, nomen nomenclature of ions, that's a fib, which is a fill in the blank. Um, and it looks like you probably have a couple different ions so you can practice your nomenclature. Num, that's numerical answer. So you'll submit a pro uh, an answer to a question and you'll get immediate feedback if you did it right or wrong. 
for each of these questions um, where you get immediate feedback from it, not the file upload ones, but almost every other one, I think, you're going to get feedback immediately, uh, whether you got it right or wrong, and you have four attempts of which you only have to get one of them correct. Um, you can, it could be your first one and then you're done. It could be your fourth one. If you get to your fourth one before you submit it, come to office hours, send me an email, make sure you uh, understand what you're doing and make sure you get it right so you can get the points. The asterisk here, and you can see on a variety of them, that means that you must, even though it grades it immediately, you must show your work. And then down here, you have to submit a PDF of your work only for the asterisk questions. And please number your work so I can see which number it goes to. And because I look over this work and make sure and give you five points for doing it. I have to be able to follow your work. You can solve the problem any way you want to solve the problem that is that you figured out is the best way for you to do it. And one of the things this allows me to do is so on the exams or on your homework, I can compare your work from homework to uh, exams and make sure that they're consistent and that you're doing your own work. Uh, you can see that the tutorial here, that means it's got a tutorial video to guide you through how to do the problem. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, Fib Plus has more than one fill in the blank. And I think those are most of the types. You also see multiple choice, actually. Uh, oh, and multiple answer. MA stands for multiple answer. You can choose more than one. And I know that the second one is multiple choice, but I don't, I didn't, I don't, I haven't done all of them, but I've tried to do most of them. And that's homework one. And so week one um, goes like this as far as lecture and discussion. So the week starts, you have a lecture outline that's due. Um, you'll have a recitation that's due usually two days after a uh, recitation, a discussion. This week, the discussion is just to introduce yourself. And then you'll have a homework that's due um, a couple days later than that, usually at the end of the week. And um, yes, and then it repeats. So we go down to week two, you get an introduction, you get a lecture outline that's due a day later, you get a discussion assignment. The discussion assignment this time <clears throat> is going to be a series of problems, some of which you have answers for. And Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Go to sleep, Siri. Okay. Um, some of which you have answers for, some of which you don't, and you're just going to work through the problems, show the work, and I will grade your work. And they're due on a specific day at 11.59. Everything is due at 11.59 p.m. <clears throat> yep. And that'll be more like, anyway, so uh, in weeks two through the end of the semester, that'll be what the discussion assignments are like. Then you'll have more homework. The homework will be due at the end of the week. Uh, looks like we've got some numerical ones, some tutorials to help you, uh, multiple choice, uh, file upload. So it's really a mix. And each of these is only one problem, many of them small. Some of them, like these limiting reactant problems, that's what LR stands for, are, uh, can be actually uh, pretty long too. And then you'll have to submit your work for all the asterisk ones. And then repeat except that um, in weeks 5, 10, and 15 approximately, you have an exam in person during your lab time, and then you have a final. I think that's everything I have to say. Um, oh, about points. Yeah, let me check. Yep, points. So, homework points, lecture outline points, discussion points, and many of the lab points you can earn by doing all the work, asking questions, getting help. And then there's exam points. Exam points are timed and there's no help. <laughs> um, so uh, those are the hard points to get and they're approximately, I think, 60% of the points for the class. However, they're closely aligned with the homeworks, the discussions, uh, the lecture outlines, and even to some extent, even the labs. And so um, 
the way the class is designed is you put in your time working hard and smart. You do the homework, you do all the work for the class, which is significant. And then by the time you get to the exam, hopefully, this is how it's designed, most, if not all of it, makes sense. And then you can do well and learn a lot this semester. I've been doing this for a little over 20 years, and I think I've had pretty good success with this way of doing it. If you're looking for a class where all you have to do is take exams and do labs, this is not it. I do require you to turn in a lot of stuff, and I give you points for everything you turn in, pretty much. Um, that's, that's how I do the class. And um, again, if you have any questions, email me or come to office hours, which start, it looks like, tomorrow. Um, and I hope to see you and uh, looking forward to working with you.